Two projectiles are launched from 35 meter ledge, as shown in the diagram. One is launched from a 37 degrees angle above the horizontal, and the other is launched from 37 degrees below the horizontal. So what they mean is you have this initial velocity for our projectile one that has a magnitude of 50 meters per second. And the angle it makes from the horizontal is 37 degrees. And for our projectile two, uh, we have the same magnitude, 50 meter per second squared. However, the angle is 37 degrees below, below the horizontal line. And we would like to find the time difference of the projectile one and projectile two. So that's our goal. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna separate the two projectile. And rule of thumb, anytime you deal with the projectile motion is to separate X and Y component. However, here's the good news. You don't really have to use the X component in this problem because we're not particularly finding the horizontal range. Therefore, only the Y component is relevant to answering our question. I'm gonna start out with, I'm gonna start out with a given information for our projectile one. So initial velocity, is 50 meter per second times sine 37. The acceleration due, is due to the gravity uh, ha, has, a, has a magnitude of negative 10 meter per second squared for this test. And then we also have the change in position now the change in position is uh, always the final minus initial. So our final position, I'm going to set that equal to y equals 0, uh, and our initial position is 35 meters above the ground. So I have 35 meter for our, for our uh, initial position, and the final position is 0. So 0 minus 35, you get negative 35 meter per second. Oh, that's wrong unit negative 35 meter and I'm looking for the time one all I have to do is just use the kinematic equation that we've been using along delta y equals change in uh, no, not change the initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration uh, in the y component and t squared so we eventually get a quadratic equation. So let's first plug it in. Negative 35 equal initial velocity. If you calculate this, you want to get 30.09. 30.09 t, t1, and negative 10 times negative, uh, negative 10 times the one half uh, you get negative 5 and you square that okay I'm gonna put both of the right side terms to the left side then you do notice that the sign changes so 5t squared minus uh, negative no minus 30.09 t1 minus 35 equals 0. Now you can use the quadratic formula if you want or uh, you can use a graphing calculator. However, you know, I can also just assume this is 30. So what I mean is and then factor out and disregard anything that gives a negative time. 
When I factor this out, well, before I factor it, I can divide both sides by 5. So I get t1 squared minus 6 t1 minus 7 equals 0. t1 can be factored into two terms. And you can put 7 here and then 1 there. Um, I'm going to put negative here and plus there. The t1 is going to be 7, right? Okay. The reason why I can also pull this is a lot of uh, our old choices, the given choices are integer value. So uh, that's why I can do this. And they are not very closely ranged values each to each other. So this is easier technique than pulling out the calculator and finding the x or, use, or using the quadratic equation. Okay, let's look at the projectile 2 and determine the t2. The initial velocity in this case will, is going to be negative. So what I mean is, it's actually pointing downward. Let me draw that for you. Okay, this is horizontal line, and you are making a 37 degree here. And this is the initial velocity for our projectile too. But the y component. I'll take that one. So how do we find this component given the magnitude of this initial velocity and the angle? You have to use a trigonometry. So sine is the opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So you just have to multiply that uh, multiply the cosine theta, uh, sine 37 degrees times the, the initial velocity and you get that. So it's going to be just negative uh, 30.09 and the acceleration is negative 10 meter per second squared and then change in y is still the same. And we have to find the T2. We use the same formula. We use the same. And this time, when you plug it in, well, let's first plug it in. Negative 35 equal negative 30.09 T1 minus 5T1 squared. Okay, I'm going to put both terms on the left side, to the left side. So I have 5t1 squared plus 30.09t1 minus 35 equals 0. Okay, I'm going to assume that's 30, the meter term. So I have t1, 5, no, yeah, I'm going to assume that's 30 and then I can divide both sides by, divide it by 5. Then I get t1 squared plus 6t1 minus 7. Can we factor that? Well, let's try it. So t t 7 1. This time we have to have a plus for the 7 and then minus for the 1. So t equals 1 or negative 7, but negative time is not what we want. So this is our t2. Okay, the, uh, the question asks t1 minus t2, so I have t1 to be 7 and t2 to be 1. So I have 7 minus 1, I get 6 seconds. 